Law and equity are two distinct bodies of jurisprudence. Law addresses issues like awarding monetary damages, and equity addresses non-monetary forms of relief like injunctions. The U.S. Constitution recognizes that courts have power over both types of jurisprudence. Originally, the two were kept separate, with different courts and sets of procedural rules for each. In the last century, law and equity merged in federal and many state courts. Today, federal courts apply the federal rules of civil procedure to hear matters of law and equity. But about a century ago, in Moore v. New York Cotton Exchange, the court applied the rules of equity, a precursor to the rules of civil procedure, to address a counterclaim for an injunction. The New York Cotton Exchange made futures contracts for cotton using live bidding at the exchange in New York City. The exchange contracted with Western Union to distribute the exchange's cotton prices to select groups and individuals outside of the state. Those who wanted to receive the prices needed to submit an application to the exchange. Odd Lot Cotton Exchange, led by its president, Moore, applied. The New York Cotton Exchange rejected Moore's application because many of Odd Lot's members previously ran an illegal bucket shop or a gambling establishment that used market fluctuations for betting. The exchange worried Moore planned to resume these activities, so it denied the application. Moore sued the exchange, claiming the exchange violated federal antitrust laws and wanted the court to cancel the Western Union contract and force the exchange to provide the pricing information. The exchange counterclaimed for an injunction to stop Moore from his practice of stealing the pricing information to operate bucket shops, which was hurting the exchange's business. The district court found against Moore and awarded the exchange an injunction. Moore appealed. The Second Circuit affirmed. The Supreme Court addressed the matter. 